mastering the art of sleeping is important. It really is. Typical day, let's say like Monday through Friday looks like this. I get up um, um, typically around six and if I can, like I, sleep to me is the most important. I think sleep's more important than exercise. Like I'm, everything happens with sleep. How many hours of sleep do you get on average? You know, if, if I had my druthers and I could sleep without having to get up to pee three times, I'd prefer to get eight hours, but I would say I get an average of six to seven, mm -hmm. but I prefer to have more. Yeah. Um, I think sleep is the number one performance enhancer in the world and get, mastering the art of sleeping is important. It really is. Like, you can just look at kids. My kids don't sleep. One of them went to a sleepover and was up most of the night. He literally was acting like, a monster. I'm like, dude, yeah. what is wrong with you? Why are you talking to me like that, talking back? And I'm yeah. just like, you know what? You didn't sleep. There's no more. If you can't manage your sleep and go there and sleep when it's time for a sleepover, you're not going to go anymore because I'm not going to have you come home and mistreat us by being rude, you know? And um, so I would typically, let's say I get up at six, I'd have, I'll have two cups of coffee, a lot of water. Um, I'll take some, uh, some supplements. I'll take, um, fish oil in the morning sometimes i'll take tyrosine and some alpha gpc like nootropics uh, and i'll take um tongat ali which is a natural testosterone booster it's like some kind of root or herb um i'll take that um and a coffee and just water um occasionally i'll have like a collagen shot it's basically like just some protein and like it looks like a gel uh from from momentous collagen shot uh, but I don't really consume any calories, so to speak. Occasionally, if I'm really like feel feeling depleted, I will have um, ketone IQ, which is like a mm -hmm. basically like androgynous ketones. Um, but that's it. Very simple and a lot of water. And then as soon as I get back from working out. So let's say if I get up it's on a typical day, if I get up at six and can be out the door by 730 to eight, I usually like to have 90 minutes to two hours to, of being awake drinking a lot of water and a little like two cups of coffee but you know curing cups like not crazy strong caffeine um then i'll run then when i come back i'll take um, a momentous recovery shake just basically some simple carbs and a little protein mixed in with some athletic greens like the all-in-one green drink and i will take some uh some more fish oil i'm a big fish oil guy i'll take a daily vitamin and i'll take vitamin d and some zinc um, and then I'm good to go. So that's, let's say if I get out the door at 8.30, so by 10 a.m. And I work before I go, and then I could potentially take work calls while I'm running. I work it into my schedule. The nice thing about not having a 9-to-5 job is I have the flexibility yeah. to do it the way I want to do it. So I will uh, then come back get in my office. I'll work for the you know most of the day. And then typically around 4, 4.30 p.m., I'll lift weights for 30 minutes. And the weightlifting consists of a lot of pull-ups, uh, basic, really basic movements, um, bench press, dips, body weight as much as possible, sit-ups on a, uh, on a decline sit-up board, um, some cable crossovers, I'll do some dumbbell movements just to keep like some dynamic movement going, I'll do some kettlebell swings for my, for my hamstrings and legs, um, once or twice a week I'll do squats, not crazy heavy, but like, you know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll get up to like 200 pounds starting at 135 and then just get increasingly higher. Um, and that's it, like 30 minutes. And I just, go, what, I don't mess around when I'm in the gym. I'm like, I go hard. It's like I get my head around the fact that what's about to happen because one of my pet peeves is someone working out, but just like wasting time. Like you're working out, but you're not even really trying. You're like chit-chatting while you're doing the main exercise. It should be intentional, focused, uncomfortable weight it shouldn't be that easy or you're not going to get stronger so so you do that every day do you do resistance work so, every day so i would say i do that resistance training at least three typically four times a day let's say in a perfect world i'll do monday tuesday thursday friday and maybe wednesday i'll take the day off from weightlifting. but i run every day mm -hmm. and then on the weekends i typically don't lift weights but i'll do my long run on saturday so call it 15 to 22 miles and then sunday usually it'll be like an easy day i'll do 10 12 miles and then try to like use that as essentially my recovery day yeah. 
But on the days when I'm not at my gym and I'm not at home, at a minimum, if I can get if I can get someplace where there's a chin up bar, like my favorite, like kind of hotel workout, or I'll do this when we go on vacation to my in laws in Shelter Island. My brother in law put a like just a random a pipe in between the uh, beams in their garage, so there's a chin up bar there. Uh-huh. So I'll do. I typically do 20 to 30 pull-ups at a time, like in vary, varying grips. So overhand, underhand. I try to change it up all the time so you're not getting used to any one thing. But I would do like, let's say, 25 pull-ups, and then I'll do 100 push-ups in a short break in between, very short. I'm trying to get this over with. And then I'll do, so I'll end up doing a total of 60 pull-ups because then I'll do, you know, typically three or four sets of 15. Uh-huh. And... Then I'll and I'll do a total of two hundred push ups. So I'll do, you know, say twenty five pull ups and then fifteen pull ups, then ten pull ups, something like that. But I'll get to like fifty or sixty, and pull ups, hundred push ups, pull ups, fifty push push ups, pull ups, fifty push ups. So I get two hundred push ups, and fifty to sixty seventy pull ups. And like I said, varying grip, strict form. That to me is like a great kind of hotel or road workout when you can't get into a real gym. But and if and if I don't have a chin up bar, then I'll just do push ups like hundred seventy five, fifty fifty seventy five, and then try to do a hundred again. Uh huh. But a lot. a lot. But it's like it's like anything. It's like if you don't if you. You're going to get out exactly what you put in. So if you put in a half-assed workout, like you shouldn't expect to get good results. So, you know, I think one of the things that I struggle with with, with this sometimes is the consist doing the same thing consistently over and over. It's easy to get into a rut or a routine where you're just like going through the motions. So I constantly reminding myself like, it ain't going to get easier if you don't keep doing this. Yeah. It's only going to get harder now with age. So... And then what do you do in terms of like lunch, lunch and dinner oh, and getting call. protein and stuff like that in? So a typical day is after I do my run and let's say I get done around 10 a.m. I'll have the recovery shake with the athletic greens, a little bit of supplements. And then about an hour later, it, my typical routine is my wife will make me a big salad and we put it in a Ziploc bag and it's got like... Um, bib lettuce, spinach, romaine chopped up and then it's got edamame... Uh, peppers, onions, uh, sometimes I'll put black beans in there, sometimes I'll put beets in after the fact so it doesn't stain the whole thing red. But I try to put in as much vegetables as possible and then I'll put on the top some sort of salad top or nut mix. So it's got like nuts, maybe dried cranberries, yeah. but a lot of nuts. And I love to put hard boiled eggs in there. Yeah. So if I put three hard boiled eggs, maybe I'll take one or two of the yolks out. So it's just a lot of egg whites, but I don't take all the yolks out. And I try to put some kind of like avocado oil based salad dressing on yeah. it. And I try not to skimp on the salad dressing because I'm like, if I'm eating this salad with nothing else Better on it, I, got, I yeah, exactly. Better I want it to be good. <laughs> then for a snack, I would typically have like a handful of nuts. I love pistachios. And I might have a banana or something it's before I go to the gym. And then once I'm done with the gym... I'll typically have a break there of after I work out, I don't eat right away, typically just because of logistics. Like I've got to take my youngest son goes to jujitsu three or four nights a week and then wrestling. So I'll typically eat dinner around seven o'clock and dinner is where I could be a little bit more diligent. I typically just eat whatever my wife's cooking for the family. And she's 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 good. She's a good cook. She cooks a lot of good stuff. But like sometimes if she's feeling like, press for time it's like the kids are having nuggets and uh mac yeah. and cheese i'm like all right i'll just make my own one of the things that i love to have is this is like a good go-to meal you know those um rice packets you can cook in like 90 seconds in yeah. the microwave you rip moment yeah. there's one that's like brown rice and quinoa and i'll put that in the microwave i'll fry up three eggs and then I'll dump the, I'll put the eggs on top of the cooked rice. It only takes 90 seconds. And then I'll put on like some avocado, some salsa, uh, and sriracha and you're good to go. There's yeah. like a good healthy meal. Sometimes I'll just eat the rice and black beans and yeah. I'll put like a little barbecue sauce in there. Yeah, it's delicious. When I'm feeling like motivated and, and, uh, focused, I'll eat a lot of that kind of stuff. I don't like the fact that the rice is processed, but it's as close as I'm going to get to being, a being perfect with yeah. the diet yeah, yeah. and then and then it, you know if i'm still hungry after dinner this is where i get weak and i'm like hey is there any chocolate in the house is there any like are there any treats dark chocolate has many good benefits so, yes like that is fair <laughs> i love dark chocolate yeah and that's Me it too. that's like the typical um that's a very typical day 
But, you know, we'll have a day like yesterday was my wife's birthday and she's like, I don't want to make dinner. I go, you want me to just order the kids pizza? Which means inevitably as soon as the pizza comes, I'm like, I'm just going to have a bite or two. Three slices later, I'm like, damn you. No discipline. But it was good. <laughs> You're good.